guys. Follow your favorite news. Let's uh a little bit. I don't know how low we need to go, but we need to go lower. So right now we have a little canvas. Usually we have a little bit of a bigger one. We have a small one right now. Cut a little bit of an oval out, and we're gonna see what we're gonna do. I need to take a nap. I'm starting to get real relaxed and wound the whole deal. Might as well have a good time. Paint a little picture first. So, right now we're going to go into a little bit of the Indian yellow. Make a little painting here. Throw it back in there. And I'm actually thinking about doing a little reflection kind of a deal. So whatever we're going to put up in here, just pop right in here. Something like that. Same old dirty brush. Going to a little bit of a darker yellow. A couple, we have a couple different little yellow ochre. Go that around the side of this one. Smear it in. Same thing. I blend it together. Just a little bit. Smear it up, blend it up. Oh, to do, do bright red, bright red. Good to go right to crimson. Might as well hit bright red just for fun. Put both of these sides, just like that. More of that bright red. Scrubbing on that side too. that up a little bit more with that crimson, make it a little bit darker, okay, just a touch darker, okay, slight up a little bit of the blue, come back into that crimson, with a hint of that blue on there too, and we'll just, there we go, make a little bit of a darker color, almost like a, a violet color, kind of just fill in some of the blanks, no matter where, because you have a little bit of red in there, you can hit some of that yellow, won't turn green. That's the kicker. That's the kicker. Okay. Well, we just made a whole mess. I mean, that's for sure. That's for sure. Well, now we can actually... We did all that stuff without cleaning the brush. Might as well clean the brush off real quick. Just slam it around. Yeah, I got somebody watching. How you doing? out of it you know that and then we'll just kind of go in here we'll go through our brightest brightest area first we'll kind of work up and out kind of whoop see that happens now again that wouldn't be the first time that's ever happened blend that out blend it out now this one we're just gonna make reflection so we don't have to worry about blending that too much we're just gonna go across because even though it's the same, the same characters and the same values are in the canvas, it's always going to look a little bit different because it's reflections. Something just like that. Right there, we got the perfect Easter egg we just made, <laughs> pretty much. That's all it looks like to me. Okay, we're going to take this and we're going to throw away the big old brush, the two-incher. We're going to throw that away. Good one. Two-incher. 
and we're just gonna beat it up a little bit to get nimber, limber, limber, nimber, that's nimble, whatever, whatever English language we're supposed to use today. And uh, let's get some white in there. Pull some white through with this brush, one side of through the white, a little bit of a curve on there when you pull it through the one side. Let's make some clouds. Let's see, we can push one right through here. Pull another one through. Have one that kind of just right through there. see them, I'll just pop them in. Mix up the bottom a little bit. One thing about this paint though, you need a nice thick paint to make sure this works the easiest it can for you. Let's just say that. You can do this with a thinner paint. I'm doing it right now with a thinner paint. It can work for you, but to make sure it's hassle free, it needs a nice thick paint. And apparently the Bob Ross company, thankfully, has finally acknowledged the fact that the new supplier was making less than adequate paint. Thankfully. So they're going to start working on making better, thicker, and proper paint. I'm trying to get a little bit of a... I notice there's some hairs on there. Come on, buddy. Uh, work the hairs off. Very softly touch these clouds in a circular motion. Fluff them. Tease them. Move those clouds around and then just softly go over them. Just to get out the brush, brush strokes. You're barely touching the canvas when you do this. You're just moving those clouds around, getting those high spots moving around. There you go. If you see any hairs, flick them off. Okay. And something a little bit like that. Let me get into a brush now. Knife. Sorry. Tongue got in front of my eye teeth. I couldn't see what I'm saying. And we haven't done a mountain in a long time. So we're just going to get in here with some black, brown, some green, whatever. I don't care. Uh, do -do -do, blue. Crimson. Uh, just make it dark color. No big deal. Dark color. Find out where your mountain wants to be and push up. Push hard. Get mean with it. You don't care what's going on. You just care about the base of your mountain. You don't care at all what's going on underneath your mountain. You're just trying to push the value into the canvas and make a firm edge. Scrape all the excess paint off too. Oh! <laughs> Did I just do that? Yeah. We don't care. We're just having fun. Not bothering me at all. All right, something like that. Take my magical unicorn towel because I ran out of towels. Just take that, scrape any extra little sibyl and s there. Just whistle it out of my mouth. Any extra paint that you got on the canvas, just take it off. It'll just get in your way. Okay, and just clean it off. Okay. <clears throat> now with that two-inch brush that we we're using before. Just kind of figure out and pull that extra paint. Pull it where you want it. You now, right now, if you do it right, you can actually start forming your mountain. See which peak needs to go which way. Kind of see it now. Start seeing how your mountain flows. All right. All right. Take the 
the same one. We're going to take some white. Eh, take the least, least little bit of the bright red. Take that through your paint too, because the least little bit of bright red is so strong. It will make a giant pink mountain. We don't want that. We just want to flavor the white a little bit, make it a little bit warmer this time. And you just kind of touch and pull. Now this is a very thin paint I'm using with, which is not ideal for what we're doing. But I'm not going to stop painting just because Bob Ross is company screwed up. I'm going to keep painting because one, I like doing it, and two, I'll make it work. I've heard they are making new paints though. They are, they didn't give up yet, so. They didn't give up yet. And you can make a nice, you can make a nice painting. You just have to practice. And you have to have a little, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have patience. I've never got, I never was bestowed with patience. However, if you have a little bit of patience, you can actually make this work for you. Even though the paint's a little bit too thin, you could make this work for you. You just gotta try a little bit. Putting a little bit of white <coughs> and blue mixed together, and we're just gonna come up, we're gonna tap up. Just gonna touch, pull down, a couple spots, get some nice shadows going. Look crazy right there. One thing I can say is though, even though, like I said, this thin paint is kind of a, mm, not the greatest thing in the world, I try not to get too worked up about it. Try not to get too worked up about it. It's hard sometimes not to get worked up about things if they don't work exactly right for you, but with this one, if you know, if you just take a little time you can make things work for you, you know? We don't make mistakes. As long as you can figure out how to make things work for you. It's not, sorry, it's not a mistake. Especially if you learn how to take something that you didn't like and make something good from it. You didn't make a mistake. You know? It's maybe not what you set out to be. Maybe not what you set out for. But don't give up. Keep trying. Keep trying to make it. See, look at that. I make mistakes all the time. But we make them into something good. We'll make this into something good too. That's for sure. That's for sure. Could be a nightmare out here. Ooh, we don't want to look at that. Keep that to ourselves for right now. Uh, <laughs> But right now, take a clean two inch brush, no big deal. We're gonna tap the base of this very lightly. Again, the thicker the paint, the more you can abuse the paint. You can manipulate the paint, but when it's starting to get nice and thin, like this paint already is, you don't wanna, you don't wanna abuse the paint too much. Because you can, you can ruin it. And that's what something you, I know you don't you don't want to do. You don't want to ruin this paint. You don't want to ruin the just the nice mountain you just made. You know, follow the angles, lift up with the angles. Otherwise, you'll look like you just chopped your mountain half in it right in half. Okay. Not only is this paint too thin, this contact paper sucks. <laughs> so, I'm doing a twofold kind of deal right now. Two-fold pain, uh, pain in the butt deal. But anyway, we're going to make it work. We're going to take a little pan and go through all that same dark color we just had. We just made the uh, mount with. Just load it up. All that dark color. Okay. I see... Make some little trees, right there. Just take it. Do 
a little push up. There he is. Alright, give him another one, right? Give him a bigger one, right there. Get on too. Why not? All right, let's get another one. Way back there. Little bunch of trees right there. Here, tap, 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 tap. You can even flick some up too, just to make it look like there's a bunch of trees way back there in the distance. There. Something like that. Clean, dry brush. Yeah, I know. Right here. Watch. Take it and just pull it down. Instant reflections. Take your little knife, scrape in some tree trunks, just like that. There, that's way back in the back then. Starting to build distance in your painting, right there. Might as well take a little liquid white since we have it right here. Pull it out, cut across. And just like that. Give it like a nice little backdrop, way back there. It works all the way around. Got a lot of land. It's hard to see though, but it gives you that kind of distance and block way, 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 way back there. All right, let's get another tree. Let's do a big one. Get a lot of that dark color going on. Let's make a big tree. Uh, let's make one right there. Get the peak just to start from. Start tapping in. Press harder and harder as you go. If you weren't kidding, this is a big tree. I have to nail a little bit of another board on there to keep going. Well, better stop right there. Let's make, uh, let's make another one. He needs a friend. He needs a bigger friend. Boom. Right there. You know, it's a funny thing. Bob Ross used to say, everybody needs a friend. And it's true. And I've made some amazing amazing friends on this whole YouTuber thing. Made some of the most amazing friends in the world with this YouTube thing. And supportive friends too. Amazing and supportive friends on this YouTube thing. Actually, I've uh, come to think of that. <clears throat> I went to, uh, I, I was used to paint, I used to paint mountains all the time when I first started doing this. Used to paint mountains, and I never knew. Like you know, I kind of just painted mountains. If you know what I mean, you just 
kind of paint mountains. Don't think about them too much. Or reflect this down. No big deal. Used to paint mountains. <clears throat> and I met <coughs> one of my friends on there on YouTube. Kevin Clements. Clements Homebrew. I'll just tap some bushes in. Just kind of figure it out. And uh, so I went over there and had a big thing for SJ4 out there in Oregon. So the first time I ever went out there, you kind of see Mount Hood and stuff in the distance when you kind of go down. And I've been painting mountains for you know, almost a year there, a year and a half or something like that. And it's kind of funny for me going to actually see mountains for the first time, real mountains. And like they just, they look exactly like that. I mean, it's just the way they, it was kind of a dorky thing for me, but when I actually see mountains for the first time, I'm like, this is, they actually do look like that. They actually do have this, this diffusion as it goes down. They kind of missed out, and it was just kind of funny for me to, see, to actually go down and see this for, in, in person for the first time. Let's go across. Clean, dry brush. That wasn't a dry brush or a clean brush, but hey, we made some, we still made some reflections, so... But yeah, it was, it was kind of fun for me to see that for the first time. These big old mountains and how they diffuse. And I, I've been, nowadays, it's, uh, well, it's been a handful of times now. Get a little brown umber, a little white, mix them together. It's been a, a few times now. I've been um, out to the west coast and absolutely love seeing these mountains. I've got a chance to see Mount Rainier, Mount Hood now. Check out the Olympic Mountains when I was out in Washington. And they are just something something amazing. You can't really see anything. I mean it's just when you first see it, it's just it's amazing. But they actually Kind of diffuse and change, and just it's just so many, it's so many funny things. It's just, I, I've been painting mountains for, for you know, almost like I said, it was, it was damn near a, a year and a half. And you actually see them, you know, oh my god, I'm actually that's the way they look. Holy crap, it's pretty fun, pretty good times. A little dead, dead one right there. Scratch them in. Okay. See what we can come up with as far as highlights go. That's good. Another. We'll just keep that done dark just in case we want to use it again. Beat this one around. Sometimes they get stiff. Sometimes these brushes get pretty stiff. No matter how much you use them, they kind of get a little stiff. Now this one, I want a little bit thinner. So we're going to go through a little bit of that titanium white. Pull that through. And then we're going to start working through all these different colors. Put a lot of color on this brush. It really does help. The more color you put on this brush, the easier you get some of these colors to stick. And of course, when you do this style, kind of style of painting, a thick paint, or a thin paint rather, will stick to a thick paint. So, all up here, fall. See what you want. Whites, yellows, yep, so like that, a bit more of the yellow, here, 
here. Let's take some of that color down here. Same thing with this color. Some of that yellow color. Down there. Take that brush. Soft. Soft and gentle. Soft as touch. Like that. Okay. Take a little bit. Van Dyke Brown, that dark color mixed together. Kind of build us a little bit of land for everything to sit on. Same thing again. Dark color. That's a lot of land. A little bit of white too. Just a hint. Just kind of want a little bit of a just a little bit. I don't mind if it mixes in a little bit. I don't want it really, really bright, but I want something that sticks out just a hint. something you can see. Alright, take a little bit of that liquid white again, clean the brush off, throw it up here. Put it across with that liquid white. Just so you can see it, a little water line, clean it off, rub that back in a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Good. Now let's take that, since we have the brush dirty again, go through that dark color and just another layer right here. Push that layer even further back. Just like that. Okay. Take a little fan brush. Blah, 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 blah. There's one. I knew it was around there somewhere. A little darker color. A thin color. Blah, blah, blah. Pop some little grassy thing. We kind of down that way. Barely touch. Barely touch. That's how you get those things to kind of follow the line. Break up the little bank area I have. Get to the point where we're going to make some mess now. Well, we've been making messes this whole time, so might as well keep up the whole mess train anyway. Alright, let's see. Let's see what do we got going on here. Color. Might as well add some, a little bit of that to it. Put 
stabbing what we already got going. Add that to it. Okay. Pop this up. Something like that. Something like that. Okay. I'm going to take this. Make some colors together. No big deal. Alright, tap it in sideways. Or this kind of. Fall colors here and there, no big deal. Nothing too crazy, we want to keep going, we don't want to kill all that dark in there. Just like that, something like that. Okay. Beat the devil out of it. Well, before we, I can clean all this stuff after, so before any further ado, I might as well <clears throat> add some highlights to those pine trees. So I'll come over here. Throw some green. Get some yellow ochre. Smear it up a little bit. I don't want a lot of color, I just want a little bit of a nuance. Keep it pretty much dark. Pretty much dark, 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 dark. I like that. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Should just be able to pull this off. There. Something like that. It's a little bit of a, from where I cut it though, a little bit of a bump going on with that. So, should I, shouldn't I? Might as well do it. Might as well do it. Over here. Start here. I haven't had fun yet, so might as well have some fun. Get some nice thin paint going on. Spin it through. Make an old gnarly tree. This tree's like me. It's big and tall, but it's had a hard life. That's right. That's nothing wrong with that. Nice, gnarly limbs. There we go. Get that paint nice. 
back to the pen, so it kind of just breaks and flows. Big branch that lives there. I think a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Get these things flowing a little bit nicer. There we go. So right there, there. This does take a while, especially if you really finicky with your limbs. Start to take a little bit. So it kind of comes that way. That goes right off the canvas. Just like that. Okay. Now the only thing I want to do real quick before we call this one done is I want to add a little bit of the white, that same kind of burnt umber color, brownie color. Stands out just a little bit more. It's a nice old dead tree. Then, if you want to, I'm saying it now, screw it. Once you see it, you see it. Continue this one. That one. Once you see it, you see it. There you go. So make them go right off. Just because the canvas stops doesn't mean the branches have to stop. And they have one right here, here. Just like that. Make it an old gnarly tree. If you're going to make a gnarly tree, you might as well make it an old ass gnarly tree. Anyway, let's call that for now. Uh, a little bit longer than I wanted to be because I want to start, a, I want to start kind of keeping that within the 30 minute mark. But here we go. A little oval painting. We just added that little bit, little old gnarly tree that kind of stuck out right at the end because of. Uh, we just kind of worked our way around how I cut the oval. That's all really, we really, really did to add a couple more minutes at the end of this program. But anyway, this has been Paul from P.A. Brew News. Hope you enjoyed another painting with P.A. Brew News, uh, episode 11. So episode 12 kind of coming up. This was uh, uh, just kind of a sporadic thing, but we're going to try to throw up uh, episode 12 tomorrow. Usually we do it on the Sundays. I have been really sick lately and uh, took a trip with the kids and the whole deal. So... Kind of come and uh, we'll figure out, uh, come up with something for tomorrow. Anyway, this has been Paul from BA Brew News. Cheers. Bye. Have a good one. Pshh.